Hello boys and girls, welcome to part 12 of the Subaru 06 Subaru Impreza WRX STI EJ25 build. In today's part I'm actually gonna start installing the oil catch cans. Finally figured out where I'm gonna put them, but I do have to make separate brackets for each and every one of them, which is three. One per head, we got two heads, so two, and one for the block. Now I got rid of most of the PCV uh, piping, uh, you know, most of the system, the stock system. But what I kept was a pipe similar to this one, which connects three outlets, uh, one per head and one on the block. Basically, it's a closed loop to equalize the pressure. So you got to, for the newcomers over here, just a little uh, quick overview. You got six outlets total, two in each head and two in the block. So three of those, one on one head, one on the other head and one on the block were all connected together to equalize pressure. But this one, for example, this one was attached to the intercooler. The intercooler was right here and you can see this was attached to the can you see that? Yeah, yes, yes, you can. This was attached to the driver's side head. This one was attached to the passenger passenger side head. And this one went to the black along with the PCV valve right here. So this is gone. All the PCV piping, the solenoid, that's also gone. Not the solenoid, the, the little relay, the switch, whatever, that switches the PCV valve open and lets the gases escape. And I actually used it for something else, which you're gonna like. Maybe in part 14 or something like that. So yeah, less talking, more doing. And remember, subscribe, like, dislike, comment. Let's get to it. All right, another update. I installed the O2 sensor. Got rid of this uh, little bracket, this one here. And I simply zip tied it right over here. And the O2 sensor sits behind this brake cooling duct that I've done many videos ago. Anyways, you want to remove that auto sensor when you uh, remove the engine. So that's done. And as you can see, I started thinking of how I'm going to mount this oil catch can here. So I ran this hose here, zip tied. That's, that's how it's going to be. This little guy, this this harness was actually attached to this. So I attached this harness to the intake manifold and this, I heated up this, this here, warmed it up and um, opened it up a little bit so this hose will actually fit over it. And then I'm gonna have to make a bracket and hold this one can right here. I was gonna mount two next to each other, but that would involve a much bigger bracket, which adds weight. You know, I'm trying to save weight as much as possible on, and on little things as well. And uh, that hose would have to run right over here. So that would not, I don't know, I guess, well, looks don't really matter to me under the hood but trying to keep it neat so number one can right here number two can is going to be right here I um, won't have to drill any holes these were actually in here I just popped some plugs these are 10 mil I cleaned out the threads this is a M M8 uh, by one so these actually cleaned up nice so I'm gonna have to make a tiny little bracket right here and this hose, it's going to be like not, not even a foot long, right from there to the can here. And last, another thread cleanup, right on here these two, these are a bit rusty, but they did clean up. I'm going to mount this can as high as I can, right about here. Okay, so another bracket is in order. So I'm thinking right about here. And this hose is simply going to run like this. Oh yeah. 
and of course obviously I installed the um, strut bar and as before it was rubbing on the intercooler I actually loosened up the intercooler and I kind of moved it around a little bit and there and I mean it's not clearing it it's still touching it but it's much better so that was a problem before too and it still is that's why this uh, you got this cut hose right here I don't like it maybe I'll figure something out later I would probably have to modify this bracket over here to bring this side of the intercooler a bit lower I don't know it's gonna stay like that for now the engine doesn't move much because I you know the engine mounts are pretty pretty solid they're not your uh, rubber or polyurethane uh, factory ones so the engine does not move much but it still does but it should be fine so I believe it's bracket time oh yeah
bracket time is over. This one goes to the block. And down. This one is the driver's side head right here. Third, uh, I think this hose is only a foot long. And passenger side. All right. I am obviously going to take these off again and paint them. Don't know what color. Maybe silver. Maybe black. Maybe white. I don't know. So this one was the easiest of the bunch. That's why I didn't show it. Once the car is down, I don't know if you can tell, but this one angles down. I'm going to level it. The car is not level right now. Yeah, I think it's uh, the nose is dipping down a bit. So I'm not going to take these off now. I'm going to leave them on for now. Once the car is basically all done and it's going to be on the ground, then I'm going to adjust, readjust this bracket, this one for sure, and then take them off and paint them. Getting closer. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I think overall the three brackets took me about maybe three, four hours to do. Maybe, maybe three. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, subscribe, like, comment, hit the bell notification thing so you don't miss any videos. See you soon.